Now another method for getting really creative composites inside Photoshop is something called layer masks. Now I touched on layer mask briefly during the clipping mask video in that a layer mask can hide or reveal an image based on black and white and gray tones you apply to a layer. Now, what does that all mean? Well, let's go ahead and actually create a composite so you can see. I've got a background here. It's a background texture that I want to uh, use as my base for my design. And I've got a couple of images I want to composite in here. And, ma and layer masking is going to give me the most freedom and the most flexibility to be able to do that. So the first image here is of this surfer here. I'm just going to go ahead and take this and drag and drop it into this working document. If I hold the shift key down, it will go ahead and drag and drop it in the center. And there we go. Now, what I want to do is actually position this so the surfer is a little bit more to the left side here. I'm just holding down my shift key and just dragging it over a little bit. The background is starting to appear on the right side here, but that's okay. We're going to be fading it to this direction anyway. So you can see in the layers panel what I've got going on here. I've got a background layer and then that surfer layer just above it. When you apply a layer mask, by default, it will be a reveal layer mask. If I go ahead and uh, click on the uh, third icon over here in the bottom of the layers panel, you can see it attaches another thumbnail preview to the image, and it's filled with white. White, on a layer mask, reveals everything on the layer. If it's filled with black, it will hide everything on the layer, and gray tones will actually show some transparency. Now, another way to apply it, I'm going to undo that, is again, simply go into the layer menu, and go down here to layer mask, and you have different options for reveal all and hide all. Remember, remember reveal all is the white filled layer mask. Hide all, if I select that, you can see it applies the layer mask, but this time fills it with black, allowing me to bring the image back in. Now the beauty of layer masking is that it doesn't delete the image. No information is altered or destroyed. It merely hides it or reveals it depending on where you apply the, the black, white, and gray on the layer mask. So in this case, I'm actually going to go and apply a layer mask, which is the reveal layer mask. Now you remember in the layers panel, in that layer menu, you can choose reveal or hide all. To do it here on the layers panel, by default, just simply clicking the third icon over adds the reveal layer mask. If you add the option key on Mac, Alt on Windows, and click on it, it will add the hide layer mask. But in this case, I'm gonna add the uh, reveal layer mask. And I'm going to go over here and grab my gradient tool. And I like to use my foreground to background gradient when I'm doing it, when I'm doing a fade on a layer mask because it allows me to apply multiple gradients to a single layer mask. So using foreground to transparent and with the foreground color set to black, if it's not, simply press D on your keyboard and then X to bring black to the foreground. And I'm just gonna start over here on my left side and hold down the shift key and click and drag to the left and there we get a nice fade on the image. Notice what's going on over here in the layers panel on the layer mask. It's going from black over on this side gr to gray and then all the way to white. And that's the um, result we see here. Black on this side is hiding the image, revealing the background layer. And then it's going more and more into gray, which is showing some transparency and then ultimately into the white area, which reveals the entire layer of the surfer. Now, if you want to see the layer mask itself in your main window, you can simply option or alt click right on it and it will show that in the main window and option and alt click again to turn it right back off. So there I'm getting a nice blended image. And again, they are two separate layers. I can still edit the image individual layers, even though it looks like they are seemingly blending or seamlessly blending together. Let's add another image just to finish us off. I've got this image of this map. It's going to make a cool part of the graphic. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it over. And we'll go ahead and reposition it. Just kind of give it a, a little bit of a rotation there and position it right there. And in this case, I'm actually going to do a um, hide layer mask. Again, holding down Option or Alt on Windows. Clicking on the layer mask hides the image. I'm going to go and grab that same gradient tool. And you can use any tools. I'm using the gradient tool to get some uh, nice smooth fades in this case. But you can also use things like the brush tool. In fact, let's go ahead and use the brush tool in this case on the map. I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice soft edge brush. Let's make it nice and big here. And let's make sure we're in normal mode. I'm going to make sure I turn off any features. And painting with white. Remember, white reveals. Painting with white, I'm just going to dab on this image here and you can see the map start to appear very, very nicely. And there it blends just like I'd expect it to. I can even blend it more by changing the blend mode of this to perhaps something like hard light and it will help blend into the texture a little bit better and I can reveal specific areas of it. 
But again, notice we have non-destructive editing going on here. We've got three layers, the map layer, the surfer layer, and that background layer. All three still separate layers, but seem to be blending in a way that really would look like one image. But through the use of layer masking, we can mask these and alter their appearance without ever actually um, altering the original pixels. And let's just say you're done with a layer mask or you want to restart, you can simply just do an um, option delete and fill that with white, or you can just take that layer mask, drag it to the trash can in the layers panel, and it will ask you if you want to delete it. You can go ahead and do that and then add a new layer mask and start all over again. This is the beauty of non-destructive editing. It allows you to, to be a little bit braver and go a little bit further with your composites because you can always go back and modify them later.